Colleagues, I have been present and spoken on this floor for over 10 years, spoken against four many issues, and today I again arise to speak against Senate Bill 941. For those of you that know me, it may not be surprising that I do stand for the Second Amendment and the Constitution of the United States. There have been in my 11 years in this building some proposed legislation that has been great. There's been some that's been good, some that's bad, and then there's Senate Bill 941. There's nothing else, in my opinion, more than chipping away at the Second Amendment. I have witnessed colleagues profess to know what is best for all, stand up and defiantly, determinedly profess to know that any given piece of legislation is the right answer to an existing problem. What I find most disconcerting today is that we stand here on the floor, that I stand here on the floor, boldly and truly believe that in every bo bone in my body that Senate Bill 941 will accomplish any one thing? No. Much less the stated objective of keeping criminals from obtaining guns? No. Senate Bill 941 is ineffective, unenforceable, and disproportionately burdens the law-abiding citizen. This legislation will not stop criminals from obtaining firearms. According to the Bureau of Justice Statistics, the majority of criminals get guns through theft, black market, drug dealers, and from family friends and family members. I repeat that last part, from family friends and family members. Why are we not pursuing those people and punishing them? According to the data from the Oregon State Police, prohibited persons are rarely arrested when they fail a background check attempting to purchase a firearm, leaving them to try another channel. Senate Bill 941 does not provide a clear channel for enforcement. An illegal transfer would likely be discovered only after the person is apprehended for a crime or, there, or, or an arrest. Would a mere possession of firearm give rise to presumption that the illegal transfer took place? Prosecutors will likely, prosecutions will likely remain a very low priority. Approximately 99% of individuals who are approved under the law, the system has, will have an unfair impact on the law-abiding citizens. Senate Bill 941 requires an individual to pay a fee. Yeah, tax to exercise their constitutional right. No additional resources have been allocated for the increase of background checks and no funds for outreach to inform Oregonians that this drastic change to a long-standing legal activity has taken place. Many otherwise law-abiding citizens will naturally be entrapped into a complex system contemplated by this bill. We should simply enforce the, our existing laws. If gun control supporters want to reduce crime, they would demand that the law enforcement go after the criminals who try to purchase firearms. Very few criminals are denied a firearm through a, the very few criminals who are denied a firearm through a background check are ever prosecuted. Before expanding this system, we should focus on utilizing the existing system we have today. We should focus resources on increasing the number of Oregon State Police and in fixing and improving our mental health system. Senate Bill 941 does neither one. And under current leadership, the proposed legislation to increase funding for the Oregon State Police, we can't even get a work session. I'm sure you've all received emails and phone calls regarding this legislation. It's been thrown out here that 80% of the people support this. Well, folks, over the last few weeks, I've received 4,000 emails, approximately 200 phone calls, and less than 1% are in favor of this legislation. We are elected by our constituents to come here and perform to the best of our ability to represent those constituents in all of Oregon when every fiber of our being. We are sent to this building, into this chamber, this floor to pass good legislation, legislation that makes sense and makes a difference. We are elected and swear to uphold the Constitution, the laws of the United States and the state of Oregon. Senate Bill 941 is none of the above. Senate Bill 941 not even be, does not even begin to accomplish the stated objective. It's simply a bad bill. Does anyone here believe 
I know I don't. Excuse me, Representative. Representative Hack yields for time. Please Do we, are we to believe that we are going to stop a criminal from buying a gun on the black market in Portland? I'm sure that they will stop and say, we need to do a background check on this, right? What about people that are mentally ill? How are we going to overcome HIPAA? You have a federal law, and we've just exacerbated that by passing some legislation here for younger people, but you have a law that prevents that. The true crime of today will be that if we pass this bill out of the House, I ask you to do what's right for all of Oregonians, for all Oregonians, and join me in voting no, no on Senate Bill 941.